morning everybody. Thanks for joining me again. I'm on Dartmoor and I'm taking a walk to Wisman's Wood. This will be the second time I've been here. I took some great shots the first time. The forecast this morning was for uh, mist and fog. But as you can see, I've got blue sky. <laughs> Still some cloud. And as I was driving up, you could see the clouds rolling in a little bit. So maybe once I walk up to the woodland, there'll be something. If not, it's still a lovely day. And I'm sure I'll get some good photos. Yeah, the sun's coming up a little bit now. As you can see, I'm just on the approach road up the valley. Let's go and see what I can find. This is a lovely spot this morning. You may just be able to make out Wisman's Wood clinging to the hillside behind me. Right in the distance over there. Just in the distance. That's where I'm heading for. Sun's just come up over this ridge. And there's some lovely light this morning. Let's go and see what I can find. made it to the wood but as you can see the sun is out which isn't making the uh, photography that great there's still some shots to have I found the um, de de demonic I'll say it right in a minute demonic raven that I found last time um, just away down behind me here um, I'm sure he won't be there forever as all the uh, logs and uh, decay and the uh, new growth comes up but he's there at the moment so I'm gonna have a wander around see what shots I can get and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit Well, I think I was really lucky to be able to find the raven that I'd seen previously. Just walking along the top top edge of the wood, looking in. I won't tell you exactly where it is, I'll let you find it for yourself. So I took this first image, this is just the raw image from the camera. And you'll see just on the right hand side, you can see the shape of a raven with a very dark face. The sunlight was uh, shining on him this time, so um, in post-processing I just took the saturation of the whole, whole image down a little bit, and especially on the raven itself. But as you can see it's quite a strange image to see, and just shows that Wisman's wood is uh, living up to its reputation. Actually, no, that's not that's no robin. Hop it around.
maybe a couple of wrens. That machine gun bit, yeah, the wrens. Anyway, I actually stopped here by this oak tree. You can just see there's still some autumn colour hanging on. And then the ferns and the moss taking over. But lots of offer, lots, but lots of opportunity to take some great shots. All I've got to do now is improve my skill. So talking of skill, I was uh, using my camera handheld. So I was having to balance shutter speed with trying to capture as much light as possible. So this was taken at a uh, hundredth of a second ISO 200 and I had f8 aperture which gave me, gave me just enough depth of field. Could have done with a little bit more. I hope you like this image that I've made black and white apart from the autumn leaves. Well, as you can see, I've had to take my hat off. It's very warm now. I've just walked through Wisman's Wood and I've decided to come a bit beyond that. There's these other small cops of trees and then what looks like another wood a little bit further on. So it looks a bit of a rough track to get to it, but I thought I'll go and check it out. I think I'll go to the top, always better to start at the top and work down and get a better view through the trees. Nice shot of the river down there as well. So looking across the valley I could see this stone wall that was snaking its way down the hillside which I thought would make a good image so here it is. But unfortunately in this uh, small of the two woodlands I didn't find anything worth shooting today. I'm sure with a bit more uh, fog and mist I'd definitely find something. But what there was were these lone trees. So I had to wander around trying to find different angles. And these are the two shots I came up with. So this first one I've got sort of above the tree and tried to keep it down under the horizon and use the rule of thirds to separate the sky and the ground. And on this second one I use the other trick which was to get down low and move the uh, tree above the horizon. But on both shots, I'm not cutting through the horizon with the branches of the tree. Leave a comment below and you can tell me which one you prefer. Well, I've just got back to Wisbon's Wood and uh, there's no mist, no fog. So I thought I'd show you this because uh, it shows you how difficult it is without the mist and fog to give some sort of separation. I'm sure you can see the complete jumble of trees, boulders, moss. Some lovely colours in there but trying to pick out individual trees is really quite difficult. Quite like these standing stones here. Not sure if that's natural or not. Quite a boulder. So I've just taken these 
next three images just to show you the confusion of boulders and branches, trees, moss. But if you look carefully, you can start to pick out the characters that are there. And once you've found your composition, it's then about just excluding things in the periphery and trying to separate the trees from the background. But as you can see, there are some great characters in there. Well, thanks for joining me again. I'm now going back to the car. Still very sunny, very hot. Maybe I should take my hat off. So I'm going to call it a day. And I'll see you all next week. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button and give me a like. And even leave me a comment if you want. But for now, cheerio.